In the previous video, we talked about a couple of ways of testing bipolar junction transistors. In this video, we'll talk about a couple of ways of testing MOSFETs, specifically enhancement mode MOSFETs, which are certainly the most common. Now, most often, MOSFETs are used as a switch. You know, a voltage is applied to the gate to turn on the drain to source path and uh, to act as a switch. The gate is insulated from the drain and source and effectively acts like a very small capacitor. A positive voltage on the gate with respect to the source turns on the channel and the device conducts. When the gate, is, the gate to source voltage is dropped to zero, then the device shuts off. So the testing that we can do, I will just take advantage of that To test the MOSFET, we're going to use the diode test feature of this digital multimeter. I already put it in that mode, we switch to that range and hit the yellow function key and that turns it into the diode test mode where it wants to put a current through the leads and measure the resulting voltage across the device under test. Of course it's very important that you know what the pinout is for the MOSFET which uh, terminal is gate, drain, or source. This is where Google could be your friend. Take a look at the part number and figure out the pinout. For this particular device which is a 2N7000 uh, this is the drain, that's the gate, and that's the source. So we're going to test the MOSFET in the off state and the on state. In the off state we're going to leave the gate without any voltage on it. We're going to check the connection between the drain and the source. So to do that we'll take the negative lead and connect it to the source. Take the positive lead and connect it to the drain. And we can see that we have no conduction, nothing changed, so it looks like an open circuit and that's the way it should be. So, so far so good. Now the gate I mentioned acts like a small capacitor so if we put some voltage on it it will charge up and hold that voltage. So I can basically take the positive lead momentarily touch it to the gate. We've now charged the gate up and now when I reconnect to the drain we can see that we have nearly a short circuit. Let me disconnect that so you don't have to listen to it. So now the gate is charged up and the MOSFET is in the on state. And uh, since it's such a small capacitor, I can actually discharge it and remove that charge simply with my finger. If I touch my finger between the gate and the source, discharge that capacitor, the FET just turned off. So there's a real simple way of testing the on and off state of a MOSFET. So that test showed a real simple way of verifying the switch operation of a MOSFET. But if you want to take it a step further, you can uh, put this very simple circuit together on a proto board and uh, just use a potentiometer, value really is not critical. You know, I've got a 10K pot in there, it could be 1K, it could be a meg, it really doesn't matter. We're just going to use it as an adjustable voltage divider to drive the gate of the uh, FET under test. I've got a current limiting resistor here just to limit the amount of current that I'm going to draw when I turn the FET all the way on. And in my case I've got a 1K resistor and a 10 volt supply to limit the current down to uh, about 10 milliamps max. I'll stick an ammeter in series with the drain so as I vary the gate voltage up or down we can read how much current is uh, flowing through the device. So I put this simple circuit together on the breadboard here. There's our FET under test right here and the 1K current limiting resistor and the pot. The Simpson 260 is reading the drain current and the, uh, the DMM is reading the voltage on the gate. And we can see with zero volts on the gate I've got no current flowing. The meter is set to a 10 milliamp full scale range. So as we start turning the gate voltage up, we can see we can get up to, there's, a, there's about a volt on the gate and we're still not drawing any current through the drain because we haven't reached the threshold voltage yet. Let's keep going up a little bit more. There's one and a half volts, even at uh, right about two volts, right about here. We're still not drawing any current yet. Again, we haven't turned the FET on yet. But as we keep going up now above 2 volts, now I can see the current start to climb. So right about here, uh, that's at about a little more than 2 milliamps of current uh, with about 2.4 volts of drive at the gate. And as I keep going up, we can see very quickly I can get up to about, that's about the max current that we're going to get with the current limiting resistor. That's occurring at about uh, 2.7, 2.8 volts. So this gives you a way of looking at really the switching behavior and operating kind of in that uh, linear region of the MOSFET if you want to do that. It just gives you a little more insight to what the FED is doing and what its switching characteristics are if you want to take it just a step further beyond looking at its operation as a switch. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video looking at a couple of easy ways to test a MOSFET. Thanks for watching.